Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're fighting against the Hive. It is time for Operation Hive Saga where we are needing to recover an item from an Advent train. And as a return I am hoping to get another Engineer plus uh, get that pesky pesky return fire off the table. Unfortunately, many of our top soldiers are sort of out of commission. I needed uh, removal of cover. I needed healing. Those two are actually the highest. Uh, those two are actually the highest level soldiers. So I want to get them onto the mission. Wrong planet is uh, the bond made of lyrical. So I want that to happen as well. And finally, Hogbite is all around good in order to move in. Has a lot of movement and can be the hacker uh, the problem is that we're missing that sixth spot where i actually would want to take a hacker in but we gotta live with that and just push forward as hard as we can i hope that that team constellation will not become a problem further down the line let's see how well i can do all right we landed and we landed on high ground seven turns well, we got an open train that's a positive for a starter but we also got a massive detection radius of the enemies so i'm pretty sure we're going to be detected soon Let's see, we can put the sniper up here for good angles or here. There are a couple of dead spots, but this might even be the better choice. Bracing. And let's just rush in as far as we can, really. Okay. Strange position that we find ourselves in. Let's take a good look. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I think I need to engage them. We only have six turns. That's not enough. Listen, we could hit this here. Or we're hitting that, which I think is even the better choice. We'll shred just as much. Uh, the mech and the purifier are immune, but the other two are not. And that's a great start. Quadruple hit into letting them stand back there uh, we're going to open with a nice little explosion oh even got our Promotion, nice, very nice. Good, moving carefully up. And putting them down. If we can get the trooper, that would be a massive bonus. Can't really get anyone else at this point. Hope by this a bit too far away. 
no focus. Uh, I'll just overwatch because he could kill either of them. And the poison could do that as well. Unfortunately, one instead of two damage from the poison. Hmm. Forgot about the stupid lightning reflexes. Good, that's two down. And I would love to give Hogbite another kill. So that we can build up some focus. His immunity to poison and immunity to literally everything uh, certainly helps. Before we're moving on, though, I don't want to pull another pack. Let's be careful. If you say so. Okay. Overwatching. Scanning. And Sonar needs healing. Put him over here so that he can be healed next turn. Yurikel continues to move up. Uh, we got... We stuck our stick right into the hornet's nest. Heavy turret doesn't make it easier. sure if that would really kill uh, the turret would need uh, to be enough in order to get uh, the the train down and I think it is not instead we're, rem uh, we're safely removing as much cover as possible that's a good start here again cannot reach anything which is an absolute shame in that case I want to make sure that we're not receiving any tongue grabs poison or whatnot so triple triple disorientation is the name of the game Taurus begins to move a bit closer. And this should take one of them off the battlefield. Did you see that one? Good hit. I'll stay in full cover. Could move out of um, out of range completely. But Lyrical has the most hit points, so we're actually standing, uh, staying where we are. Four turns. It's getting closer and closer. I, I guess that'll be okay. This should not trigger. And it carefully removes one of the overwatches. Two more to go. 
question is how to deal with them. I think a grenade is the right answer. Might not be able to get the turret down, but it will remove both of the overwatches. There might be a second turret, which would be total disaster, but not much I can do against that. Not at this point. I figured it might happen. Yeah, let's kill the trooper. Good hit. Very well done. And we can't, unfortunately, can't kill the turret, so might as well parry here. Move over here, hit them. None of our options are great. Lock and loaded. Moving to Overwatch. We move to here, but then we can be flanked. I think we're just going to stay where we are. And accept that we're going to take a few shots. Incoming fire. My cover will only hold so long. Trying to remove Overwatch. Successfully so. Can prevent the container detonation for now. Good. Overwatch completely removed, which is fantastic. Moves into full cover here. There we go, almost down. Can't get the loot, unfortunately. Well, I could, but that would mean the tower gets a shot. Mm, loot important, tower destruction important as well. I think we're going for loot. That sort of was worth it. LRM course uh, will be helpful for a variety of items. Need to move in. Let's try to remove the overwatch. Okay, did that successfully. Hacking that chest. Yeah, we're 
likely not going to be successful. Oh, well, 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 we are very much successful. Good job, Lyrico. Slowly but surely, we're uh, starting to meld through its armor. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It's another full pack. Yeah, well, guess what? We're just going to go out of line of sight. Sonar has the lowest hit points. So we're moving over here into full cover. Big fat suppression. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, we're still dealing with that heavy turret. Trying to get that turret. Mm, that's a miss. Exactly, just. That was exactly my thought. Come on. Can't be that difficult to get that turret down. Hope oh, it potentially takes one for the team here. He's awesome enough to evade. And thankfully deals enough damage. I'm on the move. You're gonna be fine. All right, Sonar, get some healing. Overwatch. Moves up for better to hit chance. Hawkbite drops down. We're taking the overwatch shot. Because I don't want to be stuck there. Instead we're overwatching ourselves. Nice. Come on. No way. He dodged the overwatch by just dropping down. Reloaded. Target eliminate. Okay, hello there. We're being absolutely badass and immune. Okay, moving into here, mainly to be not in line of sight of uh, the spark. Good crit. Fantastic crit. Keep going. There we go. Run and gun. Into reload. Into shoot again. Quelqu'un tient les comptes? 
And yeah, we're just staying very much in the corner here. Parry. Overwatch. And one more enemy to go. Come on, hit the parry guy. Hogby just shows why Templars are OP. Absolutely fabulous. Some more hits, okay, fair enough. Moving to here. Again, some more hits. Fortunately, a miss, and hope I just fight serve melee one on one, mano a mano. Mini rockets, new, nothing instead. But well, we already got an, uh, a promotion on wrong planet. I think Taurus needs to kill because I want her to get a promotion as well. The, overall, the mission worked very well. Operation Knife Saga was a very good uh, success. Uh, we got ourselves an engineer, I think, was the reward. And just for the amount of enemies that we needed to go through, that was great. But in all fairness, I got a Templar, so that makes an, uh, that makes that kind of mission way simpler I hope all of our deployments go this well. um yeah well sergeant to lieutenant great but we unfortunately did not get uh, the further uh, promotions raptors perch once per turn while braced get one action point refund after killing an enemy at lower elevation Oh, that's death from above, but really, really, really um, boiled down. Quick hands. Automatically brace at the end of your turn. If you only took movement action, snipers can now fire a standard snapshot with one action remaining. But snapshots do not gain bonuses from precision target and cannot generate critical hits. That's a really good ability. Ghost. Two movement, single target shot or strike that kills the target and leaves no active enemies remaining within line of sight. Will not break concealment. Yeah, I think quick hands is the way to go here. Automatic activation of brace at the end of the turn. A function like ever vigilant. Yep, automatic activation of brace at the end of the turn will not trigger the unit is impaired or panicking. Snapshot carries no built-in aim penalties, but is excluded from bonus effects by precision targeting. Special shots with a sniper rifle will still require a normal amount of actions. Okay, cool. Well, that's good. Sonar, on the other hand, uh, gets either air busted grenades, drone launched and uh, rocket propelled air grenades, gain plus one tile of explosion radius, that's not bad. Salvo is fantastic, uh, is the go-to. Concussion grenades, equipped flashbangs, gain plus one charges, and most other grenade rocket types will now disorient targets on impact. That does seem cool as well, but Salvo is too good to not take it. Action economy is always the king. So action economy, and then it's defense, uh, or no, nah, action economy into um, an action economy includes any type of free action, double shots and so on. Then I would put um, defense and then I would put crowd control and then anything else in that order. Cool, very good. Viper, turret uh, breakthrough and even better engineers. Mwah. Another engineer means more excavation. That's great. 
bond between these soldiers continues to grow. Well, we don't have a training center. Thanks, Bradford, for uh, showing me again what I cannot do yet. The strength of their bonds if we give them a place to train. Yeah, if we give them a place to train. You hit the nail on the head, my dude. We don't have a place to train yet. Adventure power might be an interesting one. How much power do we have? 18. It's a seldom option. And plus 3 power could be another building. So that's a welcome, uh, welcome addition for our adventure. Chosen will try to capture more. That's okay. That's not bad. The current scan will take additional seven days. Well, so much uh, for that. Um, we're not going to get Avenger power. Thank you. Essentially lost five days of scanning there. It's not worth another ten days. But that is very much worth it. Plus one damage. We get Stun Lancer yeah, Autopsy. Which would be upgraded melee weapons. Um, of course, not an option. Purifier. On the other hand, reinforce underlay. All vests and utility items now provide an extra hit point. So they changed that. Uh, not bad. That's actually something that we can use very, very well for us. Viper Autopsy would be improved med kits, so that's good. Uh, mine shields wouldn't be bad either. Um, I think we're going with the theme of this campaign, Chrysalids. So let's get a couple of extra vests and finally proving grounds are up and running so what do we want to do first i would say we're going for blue screen protocol i'll have the team get started immediately commander i'll let you know as soon as we've made progress and i think we're just continuing to have a staff member here because i don't want to wait too long we need all of the upgrades now And, uh, and uh, Bradford tells us his most iconic line. We needed another marine. So let's start with that. We got ourselves another tech specialist, I think it was. Yep. So you, my dude, are going to be orange. So far, really happy with the new classes. That new class pack is uh, is well balanced. Weaker classes than the standard classes. You do have six classes. And uh, I'll play that one off screen. No point in going through that ambush. Good. So we're being offered more Avenger power and we finally got a facility lead Mwah. fantastic chef kiss very good so we could go for more dodge I like that counter chosen activity not necessary resistance contacts would be very necessary seven days not bad That is also a good uh, resistance order. And that would be an overall just really good mission. Plus 8 dodge is fine for anyone who uh, look, uh, looks to use dodge. <coughs> uh, such as Hogbite. And an additional engineer would be helpful. 
but we're giving up the option to create further resistance contacts. How long until? Yeah, we only have uh, the uh, the option to take one of the two. I want to get the dodge and the engineer, but I know that resistance contacts as a reward are actually better. Uh, this is one of those missions where you really would want to do something else, but then you know that you're better off just doing this. Good, Dilly G and Hogbite together on another mission. No one needs to be captured and we're just going to go ahead. Well, so far we're actually doing okay. The next supply drop, however, also means we're having yet another force level increase. Hmm. Good. Attempt to sabotage the Avenger. That's okay. That's both of that is okay. XCOM so, uh, soldiers will suffer greater loss of uh, willpower. That's fine. Alien infiltrator is actually a positive one because we get more mimic beacons. And there is soon another alien facility. Unfortunately, no further options. We need to deepen our relationships here. That was not possible. We wanted to do that ASAP. So I hope we can focus on uh, finding the Chosens. Good, there we go. More Avatar project. And we got ourselves um, a few crates. The losses are a welcome distraction for us. That could mean we're getting more experience. And that could actually be a decent mission. We definitely need a training center. So let's get uh, the Avenger power after we're doing that mission. Chrysalid autopsy is almost done as well. And there's one more day until blue screen uh, protocol, which will be a game changer against uh, the mech's massive upgrade in terms of power. Um, so yeah, if uh, you have discovered uh, that the like button in reality is a mechanical unit. You might want to load your own blue screen rounds and uh, deal some solid damage to it. And we see each other in two days. Take care. Bye-bye.